everybody and welcome to another episode of vibing with via as you can see by the title we're going to be talking about this topic that gets everybody excited we're talking relationships <laughs> on a woman's story now i know that for a lot of persons you know the whole idea of venturing into a relationship is something that some persons are a little bit skeptical about because the truth is they don't know what it is to expect they have no idea how the entire thing will play out can excuse those dogs i don't own dogs those are my neighbor's dogs and they're not have no manners because apparently they should have picked up that i'm in here trying to make a video for you and as such they need to just be quiet but anyway as i was them not going good them not stop all right Sounds as if they are. Let me just wait. Dog in another man, you know? All right, so I was making the point now, hopefully they might behave themselves. I was making the point now that a lot of persons may not be too inclined, especially these days, to venture into relationships because of the fact that it is so unpredictable people have no idea what it is that they would be walking into so many persons now are saying to me that they'd much rather just have somebody that they're dating or several persons that they're dating as opposed to being committed to any one individual no it kind of sound crazy if you are to think about it on the surface right but to be honest if you take some time and dig in a little bit deeper and look beyond the superficial level you may be honest you may be able to understand um, why persons will feel this way the truth is to be in a relationship is work it's a proper nine-to-five job that takes place 24 7 you see where I'm going with this nine-to-five job that takes place 24 7 relationships are pretty much like you going to work you have to give it your best shot if it is that you are hoping to be paid you have to give it your best shot if it is that you're hoping not to be fired you have to give it your best shot sometimes too if you're expecting that you're going to be getting a pay increase if you want to take things to another dimension or to another level is work the problem though with uh, relationships is that first of all I don't even know why it's named relay Sean ships because the relay part suggests that you're passing the baton one person to the other I don't know if that part in the word relationship if that relay should mean that sometimes we may have to switch role or if it's a case in which sometimes I may have to be the shoulder to cry on likewise the partner at another time may have to step up to the plate and become that individual I don't know if it might have to do much with role reversals it could be and then the ship part though kind of scary because you know you think about ship you think about sailing that's the image that comes to mind but um in the same vein you also know that the titanic did sink no love big big love ship and it sink so the fact that the word is relationship that in itself is a whole nother vibe and if you meds it you know it might take you places it may open up your thought processes to other things but as i said i think a big problem in relationships is that two persons may come together and they figure that they are in love or they say that they have fallen in love well me not fall in love stand up in a love because if me fall in a love it's gonna take me some time to get up in case me need to walk out of love you know what i mean so me stand up in love that means that if i have to walk away from love i can walk away easily but you, I'm just being messy, but you understand what I'm trying to say here. For a lot of persons, it's about just coming together and then trying to figure out what it is that they want. I find though, in talking to a lot of um, couples, not just Jamaican couples, but persons who are in relationships from other countries within the Caribbean, and even persons who are in relationships um, from international countries, that there's something that some other places do that I don't find. And I'm not talking for everybody in Jamaica now, please, you know, I don't want nobody to come for me in the comment section where this is concerned. I can't speak definitively 
about a set of individuals because I can only talk about those that I've interacted with. So that's a disclaimer that I'm putting out there. So please don't come for me on this one. But what I find is that um, here in Jamaica, a lot of persons who venture into relationships, they genuinely don't take the time, one, to get to know each other. They're afraid of being friends before becoming partners. Um, they don't necessarily talk about common goals for a lot of persons, it's surface level. Oh my God, she's so sexy. What a loving smell. I like when treat me when I go out and say, order from the menu and I can't order anything and I pay for it. I drive a flashy car. Oh, she can cook. Oh, she's an independent girl, so I don't need to raise the bar and get anything done because she's already established. Those are the trivial things that I find to be, um, you know, dominating in terms of person's mindset and ideals as it relates to these relationships now um contrary to that i find that when i talk to my friends who live internationally and i'm talking about some of them who are actually caribbean nationals living overseas and some of them were actually born in places like england or places like uh, france and i think i spoke to somebody else who was from uh, the u.s and canada about how they venture into relationships it's amazing these are the persons that go on a lot of date. They do a lot of fun stuff. They take the time to talk about what their values are. They take the time to talk about what goals they want to achieve together and how long that they actually want to achieve it. In other words, they approach relationship almost like it is a business plan. You know, like you do your little SWOT analysis to know if this is for you. That is exactly how they approach relationships. I find that in Jamaica, it is so easy for somebody to just get up and tomorrow they're in a relationship. But anyway, coming back to my point, I'm saying that relationship is work. And oftentimes why a lot of relationships don't work out in the long run is because there's always somebody who doesn't want to put in enough work. So for some persons, it's not, just, it's not a case where people are not working. It's just a case where enough is not being Put into the relationship you know another thing too is that I find that communication oh my god I don't know if I'm me I mean I don't know if I, I, I don't know I don't want to take the sexist card no but since I am female and I would have had this as a part of my own experience being you know on the dating scene before and all of that I guess I can talk to this I find that a lot of Jamaican men though are not interested in communicating you don't recognize that communication is a skill. It's not just hearing the fact that somebody is saying something. It goes beyond that. It's about listening. It's about processing on a deeper level, right? It is about understanding what is being said, how it is being said, and also what is not said. Communication is so important. I find that Jamaican men tend to have this, and again, it's not all, but too many Jamaican men tend to be aggressive in nature when it comes to relationship. Everybody wants to be macho. Everybody wants to have this big ass ego, you know, that's going through the roof. And they figure that it's not okay for just, you know, mellow down a little bit and deal with the person that you are in that relationship with. What is it with our men here in Jamaica? I was sharing the other day with someone who um, I remember going to dinner with a gentleman who was from Trinidad. He was hosting a dinner party at his house and a group of friends and I actually showed up for dinner. And how embarrassed I was to sit at the table and listen to this gentleman talk about us as Jamaican females and how we behave when we are in relationships. Let me tell you something, I was this close. If you know me, again, my favorite thing, if you know me, you know I was this close, like really and truly giving it to him. But I had to recognize that it's not about the person that's talking, but it was really about what it is that he was saying. And when I sat there and I thought about it long and hard, I recognized that there was no lie. There was legit no lie in terms of what he was saying. A lot of Jamaican women don't hold our men to higher standards. Anything goes. If you want to go out, you go out. If you want to come in, you come in. If you want to call, you call. If you don't want to call, you don't call. You do what you do, and me do what I do. That's how a lot of Jamaican women approach relationships. Granted, to some extent, that might be as a result of us i'm gonna say us because you know i would have been in a relationship before which means that i have the expertise and can talk about it granted some of us would have been 
broken by relationships before and so it is difficult when the next person comes for us to be in a position now to you know just really articulate what it is that we want and naturally women always seem to feel as though they're a little bit more inferior than men well not this woman but because mm, come on now come on now no no mistake but i'm saying you know some women might feel as though there's a particular role that they cannot take on and they can't assert themselves and they can't speak up and they can't speak up because naturally the the aggressive behavior of the men is what they're seeing 24 7 and when they try to challenge that kind of aggression it's coming across as though the woman is unreasonable and interestingly enough there are many other women who will turn to the same woman and tell her say no my girl you need to chill it's, it's just a man thing that's the kind of excuse that we make for men it's just a man thing why do we do it why do we do it how nice it would be to see more Jamaican men and women coming together with a sense of um, love a sense of purpose to be driven a sense of partnership to work together to achieve big things i love that i love to sit sometimes and admire some persons who may be in relationships for let's say 10 15 20 25 30. i mean i know people who are in a relationship for like 50 years they're very old but even at this stage of their life the love is real there's nothing pretentious about what goes on in their life you can look at them and tell that they're light and that is what I think that we as Jamaican people should actually strive for in terms of us venturing into a relationship. Some of us are, as women are strong. I use myself as an example. Strong in nature. I tell people all the while I am rough. I grew up around a lot of boys and anything the boys were doing, I would have been doing outside of the boys, you know. It was only my other cousin and she's an only child just like I'm an only child and guess what happened? It was just us. And so whatever the persons around us were doing in terms of playing, and again, they were boys, we would just go ahead and vibe with them too. So growing up, I've had a lot of males around me. I see how men think. I see how men behave. And some days of the week, just some, because I'm not going to come here and front and let you believe that I have this thing all part when it comes out to dealing with a man. I don't because I hold myself to higher standards and so I expect that men too should be held at a higher standard and I know that sometimes I can come across a little bit strong because I only dust alone settle. You get me? So I'm not going to settle for foolishness and if you're not doing what you're supposed to do or what it is that I expect of you, then I'm going to call you out. I'm definitely going to call you out. But at the same time, I think that a lot of us as Jamaican women too, we don't take the time to study our men. And when I say our men, I'm not talking about our personal partner, no. I mean our men generally. And we don't take the time to recognize that to a great extent, we are the ones that cause them to behave the way they do. One, because of how we nurture them. Because Jamaican women, come on, we're mothers. How do you grow your boy picky? By the time your son is two, come on, boy, you are listen up. You are yeah, listen up. So one girl, they run over there. You never ever really hear a lot of women saying to their men, um, to their boys rather, that I want you to find yourself a wife. I want her to be virtuous. I want her to have some good qualities that equate to the values, you know, the values that I impart to you. No, but fine, listen, you need to be a gallus. And a lot of that is caught up in the whole fact that the average person doesn't want to ever hear that their child would not indicate to them that they are um, attracted to the opposite sex. This is Jamaica for us. We know, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that as Jamaicans, we tend to be homophobic, right? So that's one of the things. So if I'm a boy born, especially the daddy then, run out, you need to run out and the finest. So one are your girlfriend, and every girl that passes is the son's girlfriend. And yet for the women, we are caged up. And that's another vlog that I'll talk about, the difference in treatment between males and females. But watch me now. Um, as nurturers, we don't take the time to allow our sons to, to understand that it is okay to cry. It is okay to express emotions. If you're not feeling something right now, you can't say you're not feeling it. If you're angry, if you're sad, if you're happy, if you're hurting, as mothers, we do not raise our boys to believe that this is acceptable. So what we do? We grow them like thugs. Them rough. You're for rough out the road, you know. You're for in the streets. You're for rugged. That's how we grow them. And so when they come up to adulthood, how can they be good husbands, especially to a woman 
right? Especially to a woman who's been raised with a certain mindset or who's been raised in a way where she is exposed to certain types of behaviors and certain types of treatments. How do you expect that a man who is going to be like that is going to take onto himself a queen? I notice I never say any old skittle now, you know, because as I say, in a different video, we're going to talk about the old skittle then because we're going to be balanced over here. So it's not always going to be about male bashing over here. Females need to be bashed as well. I mean, ideally, we don't want to bash anybody. But what I'm saying is that we want to talk about what are the realities that's facing both genders as it relates to this same issue or this same topic. But like I said, these boys are not raised in a way that they can become suitable partners for women. So how do we expect that when they venture into relationships and take it a step further and it might get to this whole institution of marriage, why do we expect them to excel at it? Why not Jamaica the divorce rates are high? It's not about trivial things about, oh, so the woman gets into the relationship and she's now complacent and so the man can't bother. That might be a minuscule factor. It's about personality clashes. It's about clashes in terms of values. It's about how a man is made to feel. It's about the extent to which the woman is going to go there and be mindful of him. Because I'm saying, boys generally are marginalized, you know. And I always say to people that I have a soft spot for boys and men because I really believe that in terms of growing up, they had life a little bit more difficult than we have as females, as girls, as women. So what do we expect from them in a relationship? I mean, maybe in every relationship, the standards might be different. Some people are okay with their partners having several people out of the road. I am not. I believe that if that is something that you want to do, you must have the moral decency to come to me as a big woman. I said to me, say, you know that this is something that I'm interested in? Let me tell you, say, me not interested in it, so you can go ahead and do whatever. But I don't think it is cool for you to want to step out knowing that I am here and I'm holding down the fort and I'm thinking that this is something that we're working on or working towards. So you have to have manners. That is the first thing that we have to say as it relates to that. We don't talk. Is it a case that in this um, household everything needs to be split 50-50 in this relationship? If we ever have children, is it something that the responsibilities must be split, um, you know? Must be split half and half. Do we ever talk about that? Is this a case in which, as a man, you are expected to be the provider, and so by all means, you need to always go and look it? We don't talk about that. Is there ever a case in which there's a reversal of roles? What happens if, at the end of the day, I am making more money than you are as a woman? We don't talk about who must do the housework. Is this something that is just, um, the job or the chore of the woman or as a man do you recognize that your mother did teach you to wash and cook and clean and so when you have your woman you want you want to do the same and you want to help her in that regard is that something that you know we're teaching our sons how many women watching this vlog right now can attest to the fact that these are things that they do from the moment them have them little youth and grow them because you're grooming them to be a good man. And I'm not just saying somebody's husband now, but I'm saying a good man. Because not everybody will become somebody's husband. Some, so, sometimes it's just your partner. You know, sometimes it's just your best friend. But your impact lies in any way, shape, or form. If it's even raised with uh, certain values, certain attitudes, certain standards. So how it go? What is it about love? What is it about relationships that Jamaican men and women can't seem to get right? And I don't even know if it's for me to say that just Jamaican men and women, you know, because you know what? I've um, seen some men and women from Jamaica, but more so the men now, who they have moved out of this space. They're living in another country, mainly like North America, Europe, and the behaviors that they demonstrate towards those women, especially if they're not Caribbean women or Jamaican women, them different. Them behavior, they say them woman over there, so them get treated like queen. I don't, like queens rather. I don't know if it is because them not have the non blood in them, where them can recognize what go on and willing to fight it out and tug it out and tough it out. Or I don't know if it is a case in which these women are catering to their every needs. I really can't say definitively what it is, 
but what I can't seem to understand is why there is always a shift in paradigm the moment persons, especially Jamaican men, have stepped out of this space and have ventured into another space to go court. Why is it always different there? Anyway, I've said a mouthful in terms of relationships here in Jamaica. It's a topic that I'm going to explore some more, but as I said, you know, when I come to do these vlogs, it's just a matter of what pops up right here in that moment and i just grabbed the camera and started to do what i need to do for you guys so you know comment down below let me know what are your thoughts what are your experiences better yet you know we're about the positive vibe what are your suggestions how should we deal with it is this a case that we need to have a mindset change let me know so thank you so much for joining me for this video as is always like share comment you know subscribe turn on your post notification bell that's the only way you're going to know when i upload another video it was indeed my pleasure sharing my two cents and i'll see you in the next video